One day, a little brown field mouse was chewing on some grave on a schoolyard, which heard the children singing. Oh, you better watch out, better not cry, you better not cry, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. Mouse? The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. And hopefully <coughs> next year soon will be there. He knows when you are sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so we get for goodness sake. After hearing such wonderful Christmas tales, little brown field mouse said, Oh, I wish that I could share in Christmas. I wonder if old Mr. Goat can tell me more about this Santa Claus. So a little brown field mouse went and saw, Oh, Mr. Goat. Mm. Mr. Goat, does Santa Claus come to little brown field mice? Wherever did you hear such fool things? <laughs> well, I was nibbling out some grain down by the schoolyard, and I heard the children rat. talking and singing about Santa Well, I believe you have to have a Christmas tree with bright lights and dang the little balls. But my house is too small. I guess that's why he ain't never come to me. Thinking there was, could be another way, a little brown field mouse decided to see Mr. Dodge, for he guarded the barnyard. You know, Santa didn't visit any of the animals. He would surely know. Mr. Dodge, will Santa Claus come to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree? Well, I ain't always come to Santa Chimney. I don't even have a fireplace, so he ain't never come to me. Well, why don't you go ask the hen? She's been here longer than me, so she might know something. <laughs> so a little brown field mouse went inside Mrs. Hen and said, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Hen, will Santa Claus come to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree or a chimney? Well, I heard you have to hang stockings for Santa, and since he don't wear stockings, he never come to me. But why don't you ask Mr. Horse? He wears shoes, therefore he may wear stockings. <laughs> I saw a little brown field mouse scampered over to see Mr. Horse and said, yeah. Mr. Horse, will Santa Claus come to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree or a chimney or a stocking? Well, let me tell you, if I have stockings, but Santa Claus has never come to me, well, what are, what are you writing? Or send him a letter to tell him you want him to come. Can you write? No. Well, that makes it tough. Let's see. Well, why don't you talk to Miss Kent? She's lived here longer than I have, and she may have an answer to your problem. It's not beating, you're beginning to bother me. So, little brown field mouse went inside Miss Pig and said, Miss Pig, will Santa Claus come to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree or a chimney or stockings? And even though I don't know how to write? Well, I heard that Jack will eat cookies and milk for Santa Claus, but all I ever have is these old potato peels. Well, why don't you go ask Mrs. Dow, honey? She's real wise. That might give you an answer to your problem. <laughs> so, a little brown field mouse went inside wise Mrs. Owl. Mrs. Owl, will Santa Claus come to me even though I don't have a Christmas tree or a chimney or stockings or cookies and milk and even though I don't know how to write? No, I think it must be a child. And seeing that you're only a kill mouse, I don't think Santa Claus will come to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little brown field mouse will talk to all her friends and not one of them given her the answer she wanted to hear. So sadly, little brown field mouse went back into her hole. But that night, the animals gathered. <laughs> I called you all here tonight to talk about little brown field mouse. We tried to tell her that Santa Claus doesn't come to animals, but she just won't believe. Well, he's never come before, and I don't see why he's going to come tonight, right? Maybe we could help. Yeah, we could give her some gifts ourselves. Well, I've got a brand new bone I could give up. My don't eat bones, but I do have a new brush. Mine's are too little and have no need for brushes, but perhaps I have some old feathers. Feathers? What would a mouse do with feathers? We've got an old pair of reading glasses. Nah, she's too young for reading glasses. But I got some awful swell slop. That is good slop. Stop, Santa Claus just doesn't visit little brown field mice. We should not build her hopes up. Why, well, thinking like this could make her feel all alone. Like me. Like <laughs> and all the animals went back to bed. Meanwhile, back in little brown field mice's hole. Oh, Santa Claus. I know you'll come to me if I just believe. I don't need to have a Christmas tree with dangling little balls or colored lights or a chimney or a stocking or cookies and milk. I don't even have to know how to write. I hope. <laughs> and little brown field mouse went to sleep. And later that night. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho. 
Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, little brown and field bells, and thanks for believing. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs> Field mouse awoke. 